Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4, our new Wales campaign. Now, if you remember last time, we got the ball rolling, kind of mostly just watching the sidelines while England uh, went to war with, with France and got their butts kicked and also fired off the War of Roses already. Now, this did have the benefit of eating a lot of their manpower and they're lowering down to 18, but we couldn't really do anything. We had to take a couple of uh, truces with our main buddy targets of Scotland and France due to the fact that we were still allies. <laughs> we were still a vassal, so we kind of had to get dragged into it. So, right now, it's just kind of the waiting game. We've got Scotland here that's uh, doing our, that's proclaiming our independence. And we're just about to get Denmark, but we kind of need to wait a little bit longer. I know I hate the waiting game myself, but we need to make sure that somebody is strong enough to be able to take on England. And like I said, England's got 18, but they still have some buddies themselves. Uh, t Tyrone and Ulster add another 10, plus there's the usual Portugal uh, mess. So we're definitely going to have to try and see if we uh, wait, wait it out. And we can at least get Denmark to support independence. So at least that's that's something. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, let's get the Temple of Power for right now. Perfect. And let's see which mission we fulfill. Ah, we built our forced limit here. So we get morale and, and land maintenance for 25 years. So that's definitely good. Uh, looks like we also have high income for some reason. Okay, so it's saying we got it. Oh, right, right, right. We already completed it. Okay, it was like, ah, uh, what? Eh, whatever. Okay, so we just need two allies with Wales, and Wales is the strongest trade power English channel. It's probably not going to happen for a while. It's not the age of discovery, and we're not the center of the faith. I don't think we're gonna be for a while either. Okay, so let's get that going. Okay, so Scotland has looks like 15. We've got 13 there and two with their buddies. Okay, and England is at least starting to drill, so that lowers their effectiveness for now. Okay, they've got 4k, and they're sitting pretty good on 18. We're just gonna let a couple of years go by, build up a little bit of cash. See how that goes, let our boat go out, come back, you know, the usual. See if Scotland builds anymore, and no, they're still 13. We've got our Super General still, which helps. Okay, looks like we ran out of of innovation, which is fine. Oh, it'd be really nice if, say, Burgundy tried to invade Britain or something. Okay, well, what we also need to do is we need to keep um, improving relations with France, because I'm thinking that if we can get France to help us out, then that would be the best. We're getting close to Miltech, too. Okay, so Britain's at least staying at 18. That's good. What about Scotland? Where are you looking at now? Is it showing? Nope, they're staying at 13. So that might be close to their force limit then. No, I got 13 of 20, but they still have a weird mercenary. Hey, buddy. Sorry, the cat is being insistent that daddy pets him. Daddy, you're talking into the strange thing. Please come pet me instead. Sure thing, cat. Okay. Ay! Sorry. <laughs> Came out from behind. <sighs> Let's see if any of the other Scotland, uh, you know, Irish would, would help. No, 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 no. Definitely not. No, no, no. No. No, and uh, no. Good for them. Well, at least Scotland's up to 14, so that's good. 
The cat's being so insistent. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Come on. Oh, yeah. You know, at this rate, I think it's just wait for... We might have to wait on for ants. It's gonna... It, I know, it's... It's making the game so slow. But... Until Burgundy decides they want to fire off... Because Burgundy's kind of our best chance to, to distract England. Although... When's the truce? Hey, on the truce with uh, France is 65, so... At least we're building up quite a bit of manpower ourselves, so. Oh, whoa. Whoa, what's up, Scotland? You suddenly dropped down, people? Yeah, you dropped down to 11. What's up with that? Uh-oh, I think you're starting to lose money. Yeah, we should be doing. We should be drilling ourselves. Yeah, we've got the money to drill. Drill, baby, drill! Denmark doing anything? Denmark isn't at war yet. So that's good. All right, we can go Militech. Oh, I guess we're already at fours, so we got Militech five, and uh, fours on the other thing. It does give us? I don't think it gives us any innovations. We are ahead of time on on Militech, so okay. We're gonna go with the in in infantry. We're actually two techs above Britain. And we even got a fire skill for our super general, so... You know what? We might have to do this. Because Britain's at three, and we're at five. Yeah. We're two techs above. It'd be nice if we could actually get some more people. I think Scotland's... Well, they're still at 11. I don't know what happened. Maybe they lost a military or something. Somebody died. Hmm. That's probably Diplo Tech. That's good. That'll get our trade range and our efficiency. Alright, how is Burgundy? They're at war with France. So great. So we got six years. Can't quilt. I don't think we could build another boat. Oh yeah. We don't have the money for it though. Okay. Oh, that's good. So England's gonna attack Leicester. So that's actually good. If England gets into a into a war, then maybe we fire off because these guys will be busy. All right. Yes, England. Oh wait, that means we'll have to actually fire off. We don't want to fire off. We like them. Oh, oh, oh! There we are. There's a war. I wonder, can we? Now, the question is, can we declare independence? We do have the royal marriage, so we need to clear that. But. Okay, so let's do that. Let's clear the royal marriage. Break the royal ties. We hate them. They can go to hell. We don't want to be involved in this war. And while they're all busy there... Yes, we take the stab hit. That's just going to have to be the way it is. Alright, so we'll take a three stab. They're our liege. We don't care. While they're all busy off in in Ireland, then we have to take this now. Right. Yes. But then, okay, we can at least we at least had enough admin points to boost back to zero. So, hey, they what? Okay, so Scotland and Denmark did go in. Good.
Excellent, excellent, excellent. While they're all busy, then Denmark can drop in on them. Again, the Papal influence for right now. I don't know why we're at negative one. There we go, that's better. Oh! And Britain's even losing some. Where did our boat go? Why was our boat out there? Oh well. We lost a boat. Oh well. Okay. And because they did actually fire with us, that gives us our trust for the allies. We had two allies. So we get a free Diplo rep for 25 years. Okay, so we're going to be busy just basically burning our way through here. Hopefully Denmark comes over. No, it doesn't look like they are. Actually, it does look like their boats are losing. Which definitely helps us. Perfect! They even got some ships out of that. Alright, let's take Super General and clear out some of the riffraff. Oh, the Duke of Burgundy died, and Austria wins the Burgundian Roulette. Oh, oh, if we can... Where are you guys going? Ah, crud. They went to London. We should just, like, intercept them in London. That's fine. Okay, is Denmark bringing people over? They just chilling out for now. We are at a 4%. So, if you remember, support for independence generally needs 27 votes. Where are you going? Oh, with your, with your massive morale. Super General, I'll take you on. Come on. Crown will pay off some of our debts. Yeah, fine. Yeah, thank you. Wow, here's Portugal, though. And we don't quite have... Oh, oh, darn it. We're going to take it out here for Portugal, looks like. Yep. And then England will pop in. We can last through the 21st. Come on. 21. Go. Oh, that's that's not good. That is not good. No, no, go that way. I know you're locked. That's why we're trying to go somewhere else so you don't die. Mike. No. No. Oh, you suck. the only way it would let us, so there's a sack wipe. We're 3% though, which doesn't mean anything. But hey, they're up. Plus 6 on Sligo. Ah, <sighs> come on, Denmark. We need you to come over. Like, right freaking now. Because, of course... Of course, as proven in many of Arumba's <laughs> things, of course, the AI hates me because I'm the player, so it's going to drop everything going in their other wars and go after me, the player. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Denmark, you coming over? You coming over? Okay. Coast of Shetland. That's a good sign. Where are you going? No, no, no. No, 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 don't go that way. You need to be up here. No, don't go back. Didn't you have anybody there? You had 14 people. You could bring 14 people over. Meanwhile, Sligo is kicking your butt. They're laughing at you, England. I'm totally laughing at you. You don't care. Johnny doesn't care. Who's Johnny? I don't know. 
<laughs> ah, great. Okay, so we need to take something. Because this has at least made them reset their sieges. I, I don't know why I did that. Thank you. Uh, ha ha! You suck, Britain! Oh, perfect. Stack wipe. Left, right, and center. Alright. Well, hopefully Scotland actually leaves us with something, though. Okay, 18%, so that's good. Denmark's... They're not doing anything. 19%. 20%. We're getting Tick and War score. We're getting some good Tick and War score. Ugh, Scotland wants everything, which means they're basically going to expect we're taking what's everything south. So we're going to have to give them something. Yeah. Just to keep them happy. Okay, we're going we're gonna to hop over here up to Derby. I don't know. Okay. Sure, we'll go help out with that uh, anti-siege. Bye-bye, Portugal. All right, come on, Denmark. Hey, Norway, we'll take it. We'll take a little bit of Norway. 27th of September. So that puts them in a very vulnerable position. Yep, that's what I thought. Hey, 3% free professionalism, and those guys, unfortunately, are gonna die. Oh no, they couldn't have gotten smart and landed somewhere else. No, they decided to go right for it. Ugh. I hate when the AI does that. They can't bother waiting for a landing, because there's like plenty of landing right here. They could just burn through, but no. No, they had to do that. Okay, 25, they think they're making gains. Alright, let's help out! I don't know how we're gonna help out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's not help out. Uh, no. Okay, well, 23%. Let's see. Denmark was trying to make a landing, it looks like. Yeah, let's get Denmark to help. They're useful. Nope. They're way too happy with themselves right now. Smug English bastards. <laughs> so, Denmark is officially useless. Oh, they didn't even bring any guys over. Well, I guess that's fine. All right, 21% with a sad horse. So, because right now we need gain independence. That's 23 votes. We're 20 votes away from that. Which means Britain's done with Leicester. Scotland's, uh, unfortunately, down to 10 troops. What is England? Obviously, they're murking up. They're murking badly. They're 21k. <laughs> oh, I'm sure our exhaustion's high. Oh, I think they're making gains again. Sure, why not? Come on, Denmark. Let's bring that 7 over land right there. If you landed right there in Northumberland. No. Okay, that, 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 yeah, let's, that's, that's. Wow. <laughs> Are you in another war or something? Is that it? 
No, you just... You're just incompetent. Good to know. So the answer to this is don't rely on Denmark to help you out. Because they won't help for, for noodles. Are, did you actually pick anybody up? No. I highly doubt you did. Okay, 22. Let's see. Can we at least... Uh, well, we have 18 votes to go. What the hell is happening? Herp derp. Let's just go... Okay, let's try this again. It's gonna have to be the way it is. <sighs> oh, oh, okay, good. Woo! <laughs> Ran out of there quick enough. Oh, 23% still. Length of war. Well, getting the 16 votes. If we can grab enough pieces and we just kind of hook on. Meanwhile, Denmark is still not actually helping. Because they have the IQ of a radish. And the tactics of a dead rock. As opposed to a living rock. <laughs> Wait, why, why isn't our general? Because you're in enemy territory. Well, maybe if they'd squat on London, too. That one might help, too. Hmm. This recent music with this, with, with that, that, that backbeat, I know this totally makes me a nerd, but it, it sounds a lot like the triple triad <laughs> music from Final Fantasy VIII. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, and now it's stuck in your head. Okay, so if we squat on London, that's at least a siege. It might get us a couple more votes. Two! Two votes! Okay. And Scotland will help us, uh, well, they're trying to help. No, 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 just stay and take the stuff, dude. We're down to three votes. We only need three votes. Okay, take Hampshire. Hey, okay, if we actually try to siege down London... That's a good argument. Okay, we're right even to get our independence. Okay, now let's check. We can get independence right now. Obviously, we won't get anything, but hey, Scotland won't care and Denmark can go screw itself. But we will get independence. This also gives us an eight-year truce, and then we probably can get an alliance with France immediately. So as much as I would love to get something out of this, you know what? Being able to start the game... I think is is perfect. So we black flag, we get all sorts of happy horse hockey, and now we as Wales exist as a unique group. And I think we immediately start putting some flames down. Um, yeah, Desmond as well. Because De right now Desmond and Ulster are the only ones we can put a claim on. Unfortunately, we lost the boats. And you know what? Fine, Brittany. You can you can have fun, Brittany. We'll take it. All right. So that took a little bit of time, and Denmark was absolutely useless. But we have two allies. I wonder if France would guarantee us. They wouldn't take an alliance, though. Because we consider the same provinces to be vital interest. Okay, so let's fix that. Which six provinces? What provinces do you have your... Oh, France, Francy Pants. You can't even get over here. You never do. 
Okay, you know what? For right now... Fine. You want that? There, there's your six. Now you can be happy and go to hell. Welsh army strength neutral and you have too many diplomatic relations. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, we can fix the strength. All right, so we're going to put a pin in here. Uh, we do have Scotland and Denmark as allies, and we did eat quite a bit of, of England, uh, their manpower, and actually have a truce for, looks like, eight years with them. So that's a great start that actually gives us to where we can start the game. It is 1462. We're, we're achievement chasing after all, so, you know, we can go all the way through to 1820. So that gives us, you know, a very comfortable 360 years in order to actually get this going. So, I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day. And with that, class dismissed. <laughs>